Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> yep, it's me again. It, um, excuse me, I've got a sore throat. Uh, and I know I'm, I'm in desperate need of a shave, but look, I had a really off day yesterday and I, I just couldn't be bothered having a shave. I couldn't be bothered doing anything yesterday. But anyhow, um, welcome to my, uh, to my live stream. This is a uh, Monday, day, Friday event that will have to start at 1 p.m. and go for as long as what it is, whatever it is, I um, I need to say. Oh, all right. Um, now it, it is afternoon here in Australia. It's um, it's 1:01 p.m. at um, I don't know uh, what time it is over in the United States and over in Europe and what have you. I, I've got a fair idea, but I, uh, what's the point in calculating it? You, you, you know what time it is. You happen to see this uh, this live event. Now, first off, the uh, the local weather report. Well, today is uh, it, it's reasonably comfortable. It's uh, 29 degrees C and the humidity is down to 55 percent, and uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, Problem is that the forecast for tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday is that we might be in for a little bit of a heat wave. Uh, tomorrow it's uh, forecast to be 33 degrees and Wednesday it's forecast to be 35 degrees. But there's nothing unusual about that. In fact, what happens is we're now into the um, 16th day of uh, autumn and uh, when you just when you think that the hot weather is not going to end, it does, poof, just like that. Uh, now, I uh, I just had a look at the um, the local, well, local and uh, news, and uh, they were saying that the um, I'm not sure if it's the federal or state government wouldn't mind better than be the federal curs, but they're planning on toughening gun laws once again. Why? Because there's been a huge increase in gun crime in Australia of late. And of course, they're, it's all committed by those who don't give a stuff about the law, about any law, including the gun laws. All the firearms they use are illegal. But in order for uh, the government, state and federal to give the illusion to the population that they're doing something positive, they target those who are most vulnerable. And that happens to be people like myself, the law abiding, uh, gun owners, um, the ones who are registered, their firearms are registered, they have a shooter's license, and so now they're going to turn around and they're going to talk about uh, toughening the gun laws once again. Now, of course, um, many of you may know, but probably most of you don't, that in 1996, uh, Martin Bryant uh, massacred 34 people in uh, Port Arthur, Tasmania, and it was because of that event that uh, the federal government decided to introduce tough new gun laws. Now, that included banning pump action shotguns, uh, semi automatic weapons, and military weapons. Handguns uh, were banned, I think, in Australia in 1936. So, but you know, the, the, look, if you know the right people, and I'm sure it's the same worldwide. If, if, if you want to get a firearm, an illegal handgun, it, just ask around. It, it's the same with drugs. You know, if, if you want to get drugs, well, just ask around and you'll soon be able to get the drugs you want just so you can get a, a, an illegal handgun. But um, this is what the government in this country does. If it doesn't like something, um, it bans it uh, for reasons that I think it's doing the greater good for the greater majority of the population. When in fact, all it's doing is, um, is causing contempt. Um, now in 1996, following the massacre uh, at Port Arthur, um, the federal government instigated a, a national gun buyback and uh, dished out, dished out mind you, a total of six hundred million dollars to buy back what was what was then illegal firearms. Six hundred million dollars. And what did it do? 
it, 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 it did. Oh, I think I better get rid of this uh, damn stupid halo. Uh, there we go. Um, it did nothing. In, in fact, the um, gun-related crime has has increased um, dramatically, especially in the last uh, oh, three to five years. And uh, so, so it did nothing. It did nothing to curb the use of illegal firearms. Nothing at all. But that's the government for you. Um, and of course, we, the, the ordinary law-abiding citizens, well, what can we do? We can we can stage um, um, protests, which we did. Uh, I was a member of the Sporting Fuse Association back in 1996, and uh, I went uh, to Sydney with my family, my wife and two boys, and we took part in a, a, a protest which was attended by tens of thousands of people and uh, about these new gun laws and restrictions and what have you. And uh, what good did it do? Did no good whatsoever. But you've got to have a voice. It's important to have a voice these days. And with so much social media available to, to you that um, you can have that voice in, in, over different venues. You know, you've got, uh, for instance, I've got this live stream. And uh, yeah, not many people people watch it, but um, this is great. You know, who knows? Maybe I might get a build up a viewer base. I don't know. You see, but uh, and of course you got uh, things like uh, Google Plus, and you've got uh, Facebook, and you've got uh, you got uh, well, Tumblr and uh, Instagram and uh, uh, Pinterest and all these other. Uh, sorry, it's just my mobile phone finished charging, and. Uh, so, you know, you can get to, you can go out there and get the message across to people, although whether people will read and uh, is another thing altogether. But at least it makes you feel better. It makes me feel better by doing something. I don't, I've never been one to sit on my backside and, and just uh, think, think about doing this, that. Now, I, I get up and do it. Um, excuse me. Now, hmm. see, here I go again. See, this is the biggest problem I have. Um, it's my train of thought gets disrupted. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, it doesn't make any difference. No, no. No. Uh, uh, uh. Well, the, the beauty of this too is that once it's uploaded to YouTube, that uh, through all these. Um, quite often um, periods of, uh, of of silence when I can't think of a damn thing to say I'm numbing an R and you can just scroll through it you might end up scrolling through the whole thing what do I know but you see this happens all the time um, and I didn't make any notes today silly me <sighs> Oh, I, I have got some very good news for me. Anyhow, like I, I said before, I've had my YouTube channel for 22 months. Uh, and uh, I just had one of my videos surpass a thousand views. A thousand views. <sighs> uh, thank you. Thank you. To me, it's a big deal. You know, um, I know there are there are many YouTube channel owners out there who can upload a video and, and they'll get that that amount of views in an hour. They might get ten times that amount of views, a hundred times that amount of views. But they're the big uh, the big channels. They're the ones who have got uh, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of subscribers. So you can't help but make uh, uh, to achieve um, a lot of views as soon as you upload a new video. But you know, I, I keep picking up um, subscribers here and there. Uh, I just picked up another subscriber today, and. Uh, it was, um, I think it was DM Trucking, if memory serves me correct. But anyhow, I, I got onto their um, their YouTube channel and I left a message for them thanking them. I always do that when I get a new subscriber. Whether they check their inbox or not, I have no idea, but at, at least it's there. Um, oh, Look, I'm just going to stop the broadcast uh, for a minute. Um, I've, I've, got to, um, I've got something to do. Be back shortly. <laughs>